All right, so find a way to ascend. So now, um, we have to go back, and then we get go down here. You can just fall down. You don't have to use the chain. But prepare yourself. Yep, prepare yourself for a new boss fight called Yarn Forter. <clears throat> now this troll favors ice. Just let you know, he has a couple attacks. There we go. So he'll do, you know, that whole shockwave attack, but he'll also s stomp on the ground, just like that, and send out kind of like these ice uh, lines. Just try keep trying to attack his face here. Here we go. So you can see why I asked you to, or told you to try to save these up if you could. Uh, the uh, pickups for the health and uh, your rage. Now remember, if you do have full rage like I do, uh, you can use it. But I, I would actually suggest waiting because there are going to be some enemies coming up here pretty soon, like little add-ons. So just be ready for them when they appear. That's what I'm saving my rage meter for, is when they appear. Yeah, it's usually when he gets about half health, ah, shoot, uh, is when the draggers start appearing. So, so if you want to go ahead and do your uh, Spartan Rage, go for it. Just quickly get rid of the dragger. So, once you get him down, remember I had the second rage, so... There we go. Fantastic. Down for the count. Back to the wheel. That's why I you know, had you all save up, if you did, hopefully. So, new tip added for the beast here, the power weapon one. They power up their weapon and attack with a forward moving shockwave for those, you know, the power weapon jogger. And, <clears throat> of course, we're going to get the new entry for the uh, troll here, little troll boss. So let's check this out. Yard Foter. Foter, whatever. Mother said this troll lived in the heart of the mountain with the giants, but there was a falling out one day and they cast him out. Makes sense to me. I wouldn't want to live with the troll. Guess he moved back in when they left. Well, so this place is now vacant. Is it up for sale? Can we move in? I don't know. Alright, so here uh, are the spoils, are the rewards. So we get the River of Knives Heavy Runic Attack. Now you see this comes in a line, which is basically, uh, you know, frost damage, or frost and damage and stun. Uh, kind of the attack that the uh, troll had on us, you know, putting out the lines of frost. Um, but there's also the Frost Giant's Frenzy. Yeah, you know what? Yes, I will. I'll go to Ivaldi's Apple. Alright, <clears throat> so once that is done, let's go ahead and pick this up for another Frozen Flame, which will allow us to upgrade the Leviathan Axe yet again. So, Leviathan Awakens Axe upgrade available. Yep. Uh, we'll get 3,500 experience points for uh, crafting that. You know, for two out of five. Uh, and then we also get solid steel. We get two of those. Get, I guess that was health. And then also this, which should be some hacks over, over 3,000. So once that is done and over with, what we could do now is head back here to the cart and take it all the way to the end.
Okay, let go, and now we can finally go to the wheel and lift this chip, uh, or spin the wheel to lower the crane. There we go. Freeze the gears. That should hold it. Yep. And then head on back over here. Nope, nope, nope. Not that one. Climb up. And if you haven't lit this yet, go ahead and do so now. And then go ahead and take your axe back. Here we go. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Not quite. <laughs> Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. That's right. So go ahead and hop down. Wait, that one's not broken. There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. to watch your mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come, boy. It is a long way up. That's right. So, he will continue on up that way, which will let him go. Whoa, what's Stay it? back. Yep, as you can see, there's going to be uh, treacherous things coming up. But first off, come over here and then take out your axe, destroy this overturned cart for a uh, hack silver chest. 1,427 for me. I do not believe there's anything on this side. Might be some pods. I'm just going to double check. I don't think, though. Nope, nothing at all. All right, so after that, come over here and just a little bit to the left behind this uh, cart will be a corpse with a little bit more hex silver next to him. So now, as you can see, we're gonna have to time this to be able to go through. But tunnel boy. Got it. Be careful. There we go. And this is next one we're gonna have to jump. But... Okay, yeah, I got hurt just a little, but not too bad. Uh, if you did get hurt, you have some health here to, you know, that you can pick up. And you'll see a coffin farther ahead, but do be careful because now we have this uh, thing we have to go oh, through. On. That is not helping. Yep. See you on the other side. Just follow along. Pick up. I think it's a little more hack silver right here. There we go. Yep, 1,334 hack silver. And then after that, yep, just come out over here. Back up. Get this guy from a distance. Perfect. And then just kind of wait, time it. Oh, you could pick these, uh, destroy these if you want. Tiny bit more hex silver. And then after that, hop on over. Come out over here to the side again. Destroy another one. There you are. And then once we're done with that, what we want to do is disarm the trap. So go to the wheel, bring it down, and move it back down and it should stay locked there we go no more fire hop back over and now we can finally open this coffin okay. 
and we will get plated pauldrons of focus rare chest armor favoring cooldown just check this out as you see it will bring the my level up just a little bit so i am going to go ahead and equip this perfect and we can also go to the socket for it so anything here would really work because i think the one we had equipped before didn't have a socket so uh oh yeah oh let's look at zero it's weird i mean i have it on there but it's equipped you know let me check something here oh yep there we go okay oh yeah because that one didn't have any socket so i uh, oh i think it's because maybe that's the one i had in there before but when i changed it to the new thing it took out the socket so whatever anyway <clears throat> all right so see that's at level he's at level three and you also get some solid steel from it so once that is done go ahead and hop back over if you need more health it's over here to the left um another mining room may not be as long a way up as we thought well don't speak too soon atreus <laughs> So what you want to do first is knock one of these rocks off, or push it off. <laughs> that did it. Or not? Are we still too heavy? We are, but we're gonna come down here, over here to the right for another hack silver chest. Then over here to the left, behind all this. <laughs> pick up a small thing of hack silver next to a dead dwarf I think yeah poor little guy <laughs> uh, hop back up and you saw this other rock I'm sure is there, yep so you see there is some rage here I'm gonna go ahead and get this because my rage is like pretty much diminished uh, because we are gonna have uh, be having some pretty tough fights going up from here on out so just be ready for that Right. So, Whoa. Atreus. I'm fine. Just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. Yeah. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. Well, I think also because you know he's the father. So, yep, here we go. There we go. Now I kind of suggest, if you can, saving your uh, rage for the next battle, because you are gonna have multiple battles coming up here, right? Worry more. Is this where we get off? No, we are stuck. All right. So, yep, that was. <laughs> I think part of the lift is stuck in that wall. Can you get it free? I can, but yeah. So that would be battle number one. Pretty tough. As you can see, I uh, lost a bit of health, but I didn't use my rage. So that would be why. Um, but it's fine if you lost a little bit of health and you still have your rage. It'll kind of help you a little more in the next battle here. Up to you, though. 